Okay, just want to look at this Hallion. Let's have a look. This is number six. Now I'm more of a contact sort of person, but I have been playing quite a bit with this one. And it's worth pointing out that this is pretty much a VST. A VST that can do most jobs built in with the uh, the tools that it's already got in there. So just to have a look, uh, there's a few different tools in there. I'm particularly interested in this video about the B-Box one, um, uh, particularly since I've been doing some Groove Agent um, YouTube videos recently. So anyway, just to have a quick flick through it, a show and tell sort of thing. So we've chose Anima. So whatever Anima is, this should be a bass sound. And when it loads, you should get a load of presets. And if you go on the macro mode, you can see some more of the controls. There's a little waveform there, which you can edit. There you go. Um, you can turn it into this sort of waveform as well. Change the wave here. Let's have a look. Let's put the 3D on. You can see some animation. Uh, so that's quite an interesting one. Or on. So Hmm. Interesting synth. Now, if you notice I'm pressing one key and throughout Hallion it has this interesting feature called a flex phraser. And a bit I suppose it's a bit like an arpeggiator, but it's got some musical sort of um MIDI flavours, for want of a better description. So you can edit the flex phraser. Um so let's just have a look. Uh where is the flex phraser? In the MIDI mod, you can see a. There you go. There's an arpeggiator. But if we look up here, we can choose a different pattern. So dance, disco. Don't know what this is going to sound like. So you can see you can change it. And the arpeggiator or flex phrase in this case can be quite musical. Let's just have a look. Uh, what else we got? Dark Planet, Eagle. Dark Planet is quite techno, techno y. Um, and there's a million and one different sort of sounds. <laughs> Pads. Heart machines. I only use this for um, drones effects type. It does seem quite versatile. Let's have a look at the macro, yeah. I use this as a standalone VST. Right, let's get back onto it. Um, some brass instruments, combis. Uh, what else we got? Model C, it's an organ. Yep, fair enough. Raven, a piano, Skylab, this looks interesting. So this one's sort of granular. I don't really know how that fits in with Retrolog, which I think is superb. Let's go down. What else have we got? Trip. Let's have a look at Trip. Uh, 
Still got flex phrases playing and trio. Trance in the VST. Let's have a look at the VST while we're doing it actually. Crazy. And voltage like a moog. So, anyway, that's a brief, quick tour of Hallium. So, like I say, I wanted to focus on B-Box. Now, B-Box, uh, it reminds me of Boom from my Pro, Pro Tools days. Um, so, let's just have a look. Uh, let's do some triangle. Okay, let's have a look at the macro. Each of these little squares represent a step in the sequencer, so if we press play, and if you click and drag up and down, you've got three levels of velocity. Okay, some tools per sound. So this set of tools correspond with the highlighted sound. You can change the individual sound number in there. Just scroll up and down. So I'm on 67 for the kicks. Oops, right click there, shouldn't have done. Put in 23. 67, back to what it was. So there's a variety of different kits, uh, kicks or sounds per kit, I should say. So each of these sounds can be manipulated using these effects. You've got different patterns that can be stored in different banks. Got a mix overview with a level per sound, pan per sound, delay and reverb, and you can change the outputs. And also you can affect the individual auxiliary effects which are on the sends on this page. So let's have a look. Let's put one drag all the way up there, let's listen to what that sounds like okay this is pretty good, click drag there we go, that's that pattern now what we got here that sounds good, we've got some more percussion here So what we can do is go to the mix window, we're selected percussion, we can affect it. So you can hear. So let's go back to the pattern mix. So let's add one. And then one there, so more rolling. Click and drag. So you click on this little MIDI export tab, drag it over. So let's have a listen in Cubase. Press play.
pattern one I added these two rims which I think could do with some reverb so the rims so some reverb see what that sounds like Tribal techno, let's make it a bit faster, say one, three, four, add a bit of pace to it. The MIDI should expand. So now it keeps up. And the beauty of Hallion. I've noticed is you can use it as a multi instrument with lots of outs and you load up this slot rack just here with lots of different sounds in theory you could add lots of different instruments and add them all here for simplicity I don't bother purely it's too difficult for me to keep up with once I've got loads of different MIDI um, lanes in my screen I tend to keep one instance of Hallion doing one job at a time so in this instance we've got the drums I'm now going to add some bass let me close that one on this track Steinberg 6 oops let's go to voltage Oops, some bass sounds I want some vintage bass Go to the macro, turn the filter cut off down a bit. Let's have a look, that's turning it up. Let's make it. So that's okay and in theory we can add a MIDI insert on this channel or we can add a flex phraser so instead of adding a MIDI insert I'm going to add or edit the flex phraser let's add a bass um, let me look I mean there's millions of different flex phrases, bass, let's look for something housey, house bass, press C3, okay, look for C3, draw the note in, This note will trigger that flex phraser to make a drum and bass type pattern. Let's have a listen. It's not mixed. I think you get the idea there. 